Let's record. It's on record. Is it working? Yeah, sure it's working. Yeah, I can see it going around. I can see it's moving. Peter, what's going to happen now? You have a gallery in New York, and you said the, uh, that you're not yeah, I'm not happy with it. See, what it, my, my other gallery, the one with Bob and I were in, closed in the spring, and I just thought I'd flow with it this time. And, and, and these guys were after me, and... Uh, I just think they're a little hysterical and in panic, and that's not a good for me because my work is too difficult as it is, and all this. When somebody's a little hysterical, and because uh, my figurative work, I'm doing these personal event paintings, and people are telling me the most bizarre stories. I mean, they're wonderful. I saw it, in, 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 on the one at the gallery. Okay, yeah, yeah. stolen yeah. stories or something. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, umbrella attack. That, that that's mm -hmm. the name of that mm -hmm. painting, and uh, it was. These umbrellas kept flying over into the next restaurant, attacking people. And, uh, but uh, I've got, I've got, I have like about six shows a season now. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm having a lot of, a lot of shows. I have a kid assistant who does my sizing and writing on my canvases now. So I felt I used to spend three months a year because I do rabbit skin and then I do the. I mean, I don't just gesso. Well, I do it the old way. You build the stretches too. And he, and he builds, and I built the stretches. You didn't go to be a Drachenfeld and buy the chemistry for the pigment. No, 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 okay. that no, I don't do. That I don't. That's an addict. He's not, right? No, that fanatic I'm not. But I did start off, you know, the friends I had did that, so I did it. And uh, it's, good, it's, good, uh, good it's it's for the way I paint. It's a real good base. I think it's the way you paint. I would invest in in, in the product. Let's face it, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I did the company. Right? Yeah, yeah, sure. He buys from New Trek in New York. And yeah, for I a was while, he was their largest single bulk customer. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 Well, may I may I ask you, you know, because all the artists been using something, and I looked at your paintings, and I, you know, I've had so many conservators or restorers or whatever they want to call them. And they all, uh, you know, are devastated with what will happen to the next generation. Of yeah, they always worry that. about, like, mm -hmm. you know, especially what's his name, the guy Robert Morris, who mm -hmm. who poured the, drip. the the paint. Oh yeah, yeah, and the raw, raw canvas. canvas. Oh, yeah. Forget yeah. about that, right? Yeah, yeah. and it's fine. cotton. Yeah. But uh, yeah. but they they'll figure it out. That's their job. Those restores. Well, yeah, the point. I, 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 this series that you have now. Uh, the title of the series is, I mean, you said to me, you told me. Oh, that personal per events. Personal events. But this is about yourself. I mean, it's about your own. No, no, stuff. see, I, for I all these years, I painted my own images. Uh -huh. You know, okay, this yeah. what came out of my head. And then when I started doing the landscapes, I would alternate to keep everything fresh because I would have to click my head. Mm -hmm. You know, there was, when you do, say, a, a assassination, like when yeah. I did the assassination, so mm -hmm. I do assassination, then paint the landscape. So when I came to the next assassination, my head would not be from one to another. So that what I didn't want is when you have a show where everything looks alike. Now this, these still lives, I must admit, I did paint them all one after another, which I normally never do. But I just was excited, yeah. and they are the most look alike mm -hmm. of anything done I've years. done in years. Because I, I, I really work, you know, I try to throw monkey wrenches in that like. But I mean, obviously they look like my paintings, but I use washes, I use, I use different things to keep everything looking different. And, uh, but and the personal the stories, series, they're, 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 I mean, like, for instance, I got a story, a woman from Louisiana, but she lives in New York, I knew her from New York, and she was in Fez, Morocco, a kid came over and wanted to be her guide, she didn't want a guide, broad day, and I kept following her and urging her. They came through the square where the men were drinking tea or coffee, whatever they drink there. And they talked to two guys and they started following. Broad daylight, she got very nervous, didn't want that many tourists around. She came to a Berber market. She mm -hmm. was a snake charmer. She reached and pulled out the biggest loaf, wrapped it around her head, stuck it in their face. Well, they freaked us to arms. They ran. All the people in the market, this little aged lady, you know, with the snake around her head, sticking in people's faces. So she put it back in the basket. And the snake child pulls out a 
King Cobra in all this time. She said, well, I grew up in Louisiana. She decided to And I swam that. with snakes. <laughs> but how do you hold a King Cobra, you know? So she said, thanks, but no thanks. Oh, no. She said, I can handle snakes better than men, but uh, this, this I didn't know what to do with. It was a beautiful story. So I did the snake ladies who carry horses. I'll have to send you a slide up. Yeah. But I heard what a story about a friend of mine was sitting in the subway and he saw a naked black guy up in the station. But New York, you blow away. Oh, well, you know, well, yeah, sure. But he came in and it was summertime when they had those little notches in the, the, the guys who drive the train. Oh, is that a little inner door? Because that, oh, yeah, yeah, that yeah, room yeah, is so inside, small to get a little door. air in it. He came and pulled it out, picked up the engine, and threw him out of the cab, took over the cab. So my friends amazed watching as he looks around, there's nobody in the car. Yeah, so you know, as soon as the crazy walks in, everybody exit. splits. <laughs> So he said, now I'm thinking good thoughts. So your parents bug you a lot about the dress. What bugs you the most about your parents is what I want to know. About... Something never found it. Oh, boy. Yes. <laughs> it looks like fun. It's a lot different than the old days, isn't it? Yep. Yes. Yep. Well, does anyone care to say anything? Now, how do you turn it off? I want to stop. STLP, stop. Push the red button. Some of the construction that's going on, uh, which seems like a continual process these days, they're expanding in, the, in all directions. One sees here, for example, the cranes, which apparently are raising another structure which might wind up being a parking structure. Door. Uh, we're now looking directly west and panning into the valley there. And um, get a pretty good view uh, of the valley. Uh, blocked somewhat by the trees here, but the street directly ahead of us faces north and that's Vineland. And way out in the distance, along Vineland, out in the distance there, one sees what used to be the Hollywood uh, Airport, actually the Los Angeles Airport. It was called the Hollywood Burbank, as it still is these days. And uh, it's a very active airport, but uh, no substitute for large in, uh, LAX. another group of recent construction. They took this whole triangle right along the uh, Los Angeles River and have built a series of uh, what I guess are now condominiums right at the juncture of, uh, well, a little bit beyond Ventura and the street to the left there is Vineland. Quite a handsome ensemble of houses. It's a beautiful day, very clear. We can see almost down to, if we could see straight down, we'd probably see the ocean. But here we are, uh, tracing along the uh, mountain range, which is very beautiful on, on a day like today, and where we can see almost all of the six or seven ranges, I guess they call them, uh, that make up that, uh, uh, mountain, total mountain range. There's the, the passing over the Hollywood Burb Airport. And we can see in the far distance the, uh, how the houses are climbing up the uh, mountainside there. As they are here, they go up a sort of zigzag form, as one can see. And here we see the see them in relation to this uh, most interesting view from 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 our household, from our porch, really. Another.
front of you of uh, Vineland and that uh, housing complex down there. And Vineland leads right out to the Hollywood Burbank Airport, as one can see there.